Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you all of my pickups from the month of March, so stay tuned. So during the month of March, we did have a lot of new releases, a lot of still books, um, I had a lot of sales going on, so I did pick up quite a bit of items. Um, I did purchase quite a bit of items during the month of March, so today I thought I would take time to show you what all I picked up. I've got these in some sort of order. Um, they, they are random, but there is an order about them. So um, first up, I'm going to show you The Greatest Show. This is a Paramount Presents release with this nice looking red slip cover. This is number 16 from the line. Mill Creek did some more retro VHS um, type slip cover editions. So I got Stop or My Mom or My Mom Will Shoot. I've always enjoyed this movie, so it's nice to have a release with that nice looking slip. Gorillas in the Mist is another great movie. Really like the slipcover on that one. Gold Diggers, I've never actually seen this one. Um, so I'm looking forward to checking that one out. And The Babe. So really nice looking slipcovers for these VHS um, retro slips. And then Walmart put out some um, inspirational type movies with new slipcovers. Um, I got God Bless the Broken Road. I Can Only Imagine, The Shack, I Still Believe, and The Secret, Dare to Dream. So I really like having these variations on these slips. I actually had all of these already in the collection with other slip covers, um, so it was nice to have a new slip for those. Okay, some other titles that I picked up, um, The Toll. Really like the slipcover on this one. I was able to check this movie out. I enjoyed it for the most part. It really had some great moments in it. Um, and then it kind of got silly during the halfway point, I guess. Um, but overall, it was an okay movie. Songbird. Haven't checked this one out yet. Haven't heard too many great things about that one. Promising Young Woman. I actually watched this one also during the month of March. Really liked the... Um, Really liked the story. Um, I thought it was different as far as a revenge film. I thought they did a really good job. Don't Tell a Soul is another one that I got to watch during the month of March. Really enjoyed this one. Um, definitely recommend you check that one out if you haven't. Um, Fatal. I have not seen this one. I don't know if you say Fatal or Fatal, but um, I did like the slipcover on this one, so I picked it up all my life. I actually took time to watch this one. This is based on a true story. Um, I enjoyed it. It was a good. It was a good um, watch. Okay, from let's do my Shot Factory Screen Factory releases. I picked up Raw. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. I haven't had a chance to check that one out um, yet. The Widow. Really cool looking image. I got a double pack for um, Once Bitten and Love at First Bite. It's been a very long time since I've seen these. I have been trying to add these double feature Screen Factory releases to the collection. I think I picked this one up off of Target um, during the Target sale. So a lot of the, some of these titles you'll see I got from the Target sale. Um, I'll try to mention that if I can remember. I did get the Collector's Edition for Event Horizon. Um, the G-Kids release for um, Our Sound. rent a pal heard some really good things about this one. I'm definitely looking forward to checking that one out. 400 Bullets. And then some 4K releases that I got. I got News from the World. News of the World. Haven't seen that one yet. Monster Hunter. Haven't heard too many great things about that one, so I haven't checked it out yet. Godzilla, I really do like the slipcover on this one. And one of my favorites is the Ten Commandments. I really love the slip on this one. This was very hard to get. Um, I actually did a online pickup at Walmart for this. Um, so happy to have that one in the collection. Okay, some RLJE titles that I picked up during this month. I got Tax Collector. I had the still book for this. I have the still book for this. It came out um, a couple of months ago. 
I got the still book and I wanted to go ahead and add the regular Blu-ray to the collection. Psycho Gorman, or PG for short. Really great movie. Um, if you like 80s horror movies, um, special effects, practical effects, um, comedy, this right here was really good. I really enjoyed it. Can't recommend this one enough. Definitely check that one out. I actually bought two copies. I bought me a copy. I watched it. Really enjoyed it. And then the guy that I work with, I bought him a copy because he likes that kind of stuff too. Um, Castle Freak. I haven't seen this one yet. Would like to get a hold of the original. Um, that This right here is a remake of the original or a retelling of the original. I've heard a lot of good things about the original, but... Anyways, 2067, haven't seen that one yet, and Scare Me. Now, Scare Me, I actually took time to watch this one. I was not a big fan of it. Um, some people really like it. To me, I wanted more from it. So, anyways, still nice to have that one in the collection. Okay, we did have the release for Disney Pixar's Soul. So, I did get the... Target Gallery Book Edition. I got the Best Buy Still Book, which was really hard to come by, so I'm glad I had that one pre ordered. The regular 4K release with the slip. And then I picked up the Disney Princess 3 pack um, with Moana Tangled and the Little Mermaid. This is a Disney Movie Club exclusive. Got that one off of eBay for a really good price. Um, I picked up The Forest. This is a Code Red exclusive. And Runaway Train. This is a Kino Lorber exclusive, uh, a Kino Lorber title with a slipcover, which is nice. Okay, let's get into Wonder Woman. So we did have the release for Wonder Woman 84, which I plan on watching that one today. Um, so I got the Best Buy Still Book. I got the Target slipcover edition. I got the 4K edition. I picked up the 2-pack Blu-ray edition. There is a 4K edition of this also that I will probably pick up later on. Has a little bit different artwork on the front. And then they had a standee with some titles with a different slip. So I picked up just the regular Wonder Woman and Aquaman. Now they did have some DVD releases with these kind of slips for I, I want to say Justice League and maybe Shazam. I can't really remember but I only picked up the Blu-ray releases. Okay next up we have some other titles. Voyage into Space and I can't, I can't really remember where I got this one from. It's, it was an online exclusive I believe. So I picked this one up, and also um, Who Will Stop the Rain. I really can't remember where I got those from, but they did just come in recently. I did win an eBay auction for Grizzly with this slipcover. Um, I definitely wanted this one with the slip. I have it without the slip, the uh, different edition. I um, also got Dawn of the Dead, the, the thinner pack release. I have the bigger... Um, release, so I wanted to get the smaller one also. Um, from Eureka, I got this double pack for Nightwing and Shadow of the Hawk. I've heard a lot of great things about this one. And I do like to get the Eureka releases. I got V.I.Y. I got the Lucky Stars with Jackie Chan. From Arrow, I picked up the Bloodhound. Heard a lot of good things about this one. I can't wait to check that one out. And I got the Demons 1 and 2 um, collection. 4K release. Some of the still book releases I got. I got Friday the 13th Part 2, which is great. I really hope that they continue doing these still books for the Friday the 13th releases. I got the Rad Mondo still book release. I actually watched this one, enjoyed it. Definitely check that. Definitely check it out if you have the opportunity. Gattaca still book release. 
I watched that one for the first time also during the month of March and enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend you check that one out. I got the Best Buy Exclusive Godzilla 4K Steelbook. And I got the Best Buy Exclusive Dread Steelbook. Definitely check this one out too if you haven't seen it. It's a great movie. Okay, some titles that I got from the UK. I did pick up another copy of St. Maud with the slipcover. I have the steelbook release and I wanted to get one with a slip. So I got that one. I got the um, Batman title, um, Titans of Cult edition. I got Bugsy Malone steelbook. Um, the Forbidden Planet. THX 1138 Logan's Run Blade Runner 2049 Mondo release which I'll be doing an unboxing of this here soon um, Thor Mondo release I'll be doing an unboxing of that one also pretty soon Iron Man Mondo release which I've done an unboxing for that and one for also for Captain America the First Avenger. So definitely check out those um, unboxings if you like to. Okay, some, some of the Target sale items that I picked up are some slipcover editions. I got V for Vendetta. Jumanji The Next Level. I have the still book. I didn't have the regular 4K release. I got American Psycho. I really like to get a hold of a slipcover for this one. So I'm going to be on the hunt for that. Um, some other Target sale items I got. I got Diablo. Um, I actually watched this one. It's a Western with a twist. I enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't checked this movie out, I would definitely recommend you check that one out. It, it was a beautiful movie. The Orphanage. I got that one off of eBay. Um, I got three seasons of Black Lightning. So all three seasons from of Black Lightning. I got that on Blu-ray. I got Krypton um, the second and final season on Blu-ray. Um, Hotel Transylvania 3 I needed in the collection. So I got this one from the Target sale. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I got this one, the regular Blu-ray edition. I had the 4K releases, the still book, but I didn't have the regular Blu-ray. Um, I got Thoroughbreds. The High Note. Downton Abbey, the motion picture. So me and my wife actually watched the series and we never did see the movie. We were planning on going to see that one in the theater, but we never got around to doing it, so I just bought her the um, Blu-ray release. <clears throat> Countdown. I've heard some good things about this one. I haven't haven't seen it yet. I got the How to Train Your Dragon 3 pack for the Blu-ray edition. Jumanji The Next Level, regular Blu-ray release. And Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle, Blu-ray release. I got Beetlejuice 4K with a slip and 300 4K with a slip. Now I also have some other um, items that I've received during the month of March. I did an unboxing for these. Um, but I'm just going to show you the stacks. Okay, I got the, these are what I picked up from the Warner Archive sale. Um, I do have another package that hasn't arrived yet. It's been delayed. But these are my Warner Archive titles that I did a video on if you'd like to check it out. These are what I got from Shout Factory from the Shout Select sale. And these are my Kino Lorber titles that I picked up from the sale. I, I did an unboxing of this one also if you'd like to check that one out. So those are all of my titles that I picked up during the month of March. Hopefully you were able to pick up the items that you wanted. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know which of these you picked up. And maybe also let me know which of these you would recommend me watching. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, i really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. 
If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to check out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.